I became a parent when I was writing my last book and, there's, and discovered that it's absolutely true what everybody says. As soon as you have a child in your life, they do, they do change your perspective, their, your focus very much. And so, yes, you do start to see the world through the, a child's eyes again. Um, and, and a child being in jeopardy is one of the most frightening things that, that can happen, not least because we're all still, to a degree, well, I don't want to sound hippie, we're all still children to a degree inside. And when we're in jeopardy, it's very often that child inside us that actually has the gut emotional response. And, Always in my books, there tends to be an element of that, and there's generally some sort of focus on a character having had something to them in the past, because those little moments that may have happened to us 10, 20, 30 years ago are still the things that are structuring our responses to everything that happens to us now. I think bad things happen to everybody. They happen to bad people, perhaps more than, more than most, but they happen to good people too, and they can happen because of just a bad judgment call, they can happen because of something trivial, trivial that you've done that just had repercussions that, that you didn't anticipate. I also, I think, kind of believe that there are actual beings that are bad things in, in, in corporeal things which are just sort of rolling around invisibly around us looking for people to happen to. And with all these things, you can run from them, but you can't hide. Sooner or later, one of these types of bad things is going to get you. And the question is then, how do you respond? What do you do? And your character will become manifest through your response to the bad things as well as the good things that happen to you. And that's true in real life and it's true in books. How you respond to bad things is what creates your story.